Yo, yo, what's up? This is June from American Eye here at the All in One Design Studios. About to tell you how the brand got started from the ground up. Uh, always wanted a, a brand back in 98, 99. Back when I used to DJ, I kind of wanted that DJ uh, brand, but never knew how to start or what to do. Plus, I was I was young and I was like, oh man, there's probably a lot of money that's gonna go into it. So I was kind of in the dark with it. So I kind of just let it blow off. So I mean, years will go by and um, years will go by and you know, just uh, every now and then it'll still be in my head and I always still had that that itch of a brand, you know and. Um, so like years will go by, and um, every night I will always think about like oh, about my name, like well, what kind of name would it be, and this and that. Cause for me, the the name was the hardest part. And uh, so like before I go to sleep, I will think about it and think about it until like I came up with the name, and then uh, it hit me. Uh, I was going through, you know. Fuck the system, uh, riots against uh, the government and all that. So it just came to me, and it just I just felt American Eye, and I was like, hmm. I said it like about two, three times, American Eye, American Eye. I was like, hmm. I kind of it it, it it fits well. And after that, I was like, oh shit! I was all excited. I couldn't even sleep that night. I was like, I finally fucking uh, came up with a name. And uh, I was sitting on that name for maybe about a year. And, uh, until I uh, linked up again with one of my uh, close friends from back in Linwood. Uh, uh, this was my boy. I was uh, we, we grew up together. And uh, we probably like uh, stop talking to each other and start seeing each other for like maybe uh, our early 20s so like after that like 10 years pass and uh, somehow we linked up and we like hey we found each other again and uh, so we, we started like kicking it and I remember one time we went to uh, to the mall to Stonewall Mall and we were checking out the stores checking out the, the street words that they had and we're like oh that's just dope that's just dope and I told him, hey man, I want to do this brand. And he's like, really? He's like, yeah, man, I've been wanting to do it for like years already. I already got the name too. And he was like, oh, for real? He's like, yeah, check this shit out. I have the fucking silk screen machines and I, I know how to silk screen. So I was like, really? Like, it, it kind of like, you know, it was meant to happen. And then he said, oh, hit me with the name. I told him American Eye. I just told him one time and he was like, oh, I like that shit. He was feeling it. He's like, damn, that shit has a ring to it. Then after that, we're like, oh, let's chop it up. Let's do, let's see what we can do with this. You know? Basically, we wanted something for, for us to wear. We weren't thinking of making money or anything like that. <clears throat> we just wanted to wear something dope that we create. And so I remember one time uh, he he hit me up at night. He's like, hey, fool, I got the logo. I go, really? That fast? He's like, yeah, I got it. And I go, shoot it to me. So he texted to me. So he shot it to me. And uh, boom, I just saw it. And I was like, whoa, that's the one. That's it. Like, that's a good logo. It kind of fit with the, the name. And it was nice and clean and bold, right in your face. I was like, that, that's the one. And uh, after that, we just started like, let's, let's start creating. We started coming up with designs, left and right. And uh, after that, we'll be wearing it. And, you know, our friends and family members, they'll be like, oh, it's dope. Like, hey, do you got a, you got a size on a, a large or... We'd be like, ah, oh, no, because back then, like, we would only make like one or two per design because I was barely learning how to silk screen. 
uh, I was learning as I go. And um, so pretty much we only have like a little bit of a merch. It wasn't even merch. So uh, so we started seeing that people were actually feeling it. And we were like, huh, oh, we should probably we should probably do something with it, you know? See see what we could you know, what 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 goes about it, you know? And so we started making shirts for our friends, their friends, and and after that it's like, you know, alright, so it's going good. And you know, I'm all excited. We were both excited. And uh, so we started vending, uh, started meeting new people. Uh, the homie uh, OG Prophet was always there, you know, in the cut. You know, always helping us out, so he came a part of it, as well as Rulex. Uh, we started doing some sponsorships, uh, mixtapes, uh, we sponsored a couple of videos. Uh, we just recently uh, sponsored this album, uh, Crazy Race album, uh, Mark My Words. You gotta check that out, it's dope. Uh, what we got uh, in the works, maybe, maybe like five new designs. Uh, a billboard that's gonna be posted on uh, the 5 Freeway by the Citadel, City of Commerce. Um, but make sure to check out uh, my boy uh, Rafael the Artist at All In One Designs. Uh, check him out on IG. Uh, check us out, American Eye Clothing, on Facebook, uh, IG, and YouTube. So we keep you posted till next time. See ya.